Hello everyone. My name is Sigmund and welcome to a few good scares. This is a new series where I play a few horror games and try to distract you from the man hiding in your closet. So without further ado, let's just crack on. Enjoy yourselves. I know I will. On October 22nd, 1999, Daniel and his friend Heather went missing while on a camping expedition. And as usual, I don't get enough time to read it. October 22nd, 1999. This game is called The House in the Woods. From what I understand, it is based on the Blair Witch Project. Loving the PS1 era graphics. A little campfire. Oh, okay, that's run. Oh, I have a body. Hello? Did I just walk up the string? <laughs> that is the world's strongest tent. Can I go in there? No. Alright. Let's go on and explore in the creepy foggy woods. Do anything with this? I don't like the chanting. I don't think I can do anything with that, so let's move on. Do I have like infinite stamina? Anybody here? Is that a person? Hello? Nah, you know what? I'm fine. Pe people just randomly disappearing. I don't need to be. I don't need to follow that. See, these are the smart decisions to make in a horror situation. Have I come around in a massive circle again? I have! Jeez! Now I'm going to pick a direction and just go with it. Let's go northeast. I'm obviously getting turned around somewhere. Unless that's a mechanic in the game. But I'm pretty sure it's just me being an idiot. We found the house. The house in the woods. What a lovely inviting place. I'd stay here. Oh good. Abandoned house with boarded windows and somebody screaming for help inside. What could possibly go wrong? Hello? Can I crouch or anything? No? Okay. Oh no. <laughs> no. I'm gonna go uh, check the perimeter. Hello? Anyone home? No, okay, so only one way in. 
Let us enter the house. Oh yeah, I have a torch. Probably should have turned that on earlier. Hello? I hope that's me just out of breath. Oh good, handprints. That's always a good sign. The kid's been uh, finger painting again. I'd fucking leave. Why would you stay? Fucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, fucker. You were boarded up before. And the wood from the stairs is gone. I can still leave. Sandra, I told you to not let the kids hand paint on the walls. We're never going to sell this place. There's, I'm sure this would be a lovely house. Under very different circumstances. It's just mould. Red mould. Not very common, but it's a thing. Don't! Of course you're downstairs. Is Slender Man about Slender Man and Blair Witch teaming up? That does not sound like a fun idea. Alright. Let's head downstairs. Has anything changed? So you're just gonna keep shouting. Where are you? Hello? Of course you're in the basement. Why wouldn't you be? looking at the wall. You right there? Are you Heather? Hello? Despite ground and aerial search attempts, no trace of Daniel Heather was ever found. Or is it, does it just loop? That was excellent. I really loved that. It, uh, lots of really cool elements to it. It was, I think it was done as part of a jam, so the ending isn't quite finished, but 
to to the maker of that game you did a phenomenal a phenomenal job of that i loved it loved the ps1 era aesthetic as well it actually really added to the atmosphere i think you don't need to have amazing graphics to make a game scary sometimes just good old trusty polygons will do the job just fine i will leave a link in the description if you want to try that game out for yourself but for now let's move on to the next game real stories from the grave by dead bite studios real stories from the grave volume one don't like that noise let us begin Ah, well, I... please tell me that's ham. Hello. I don't know what this is. Can I get rid of it? I don't like. I'm, I don't like the fact I'm carrying it. Already, this is reminding me. Did you ever see that film VHS? I'm getting. I don't know why, but I'm getting. Maybe it's the uh, cracking and things, but I'm getting quite strong with VHS vibes. Oh, it's a body. Put the body in the trunk. How do I do that? Okay, press E. Okay, now what? Leave. Oh yeah, it's probably set in America so the streaming was on the wrong side of the car. Hi. Can I talk to you? Hey dude, are you okay? You look so pale. Yeah, because I'm talking to one of those mannequin doll things. That you can... It doesn't look like I can respond. Hey, do I just... Okay, I need to. I, obviously, I need to fill up. I'm, I'm at a petrol station. So, going to happen? Something about that crackling is making me nervous. Okay. Refueled without incident. Right, do I pay this guy? Pay. Be careful out there. That sounds ominous. leave okay I was only having a mosey I didn't know how to oh I don't like this I do not like this at all I don't know who I am, what I well, I've obviously killed somebody. But why and who? I 
have questions. I'm not sure I want the answers to them. Wind, water, water. Oh, I guess I have to take the boat out, do I? Viking burial. Is that what we're doing? Leave. go forward I can't do anything else oh no I can move to the left or to the right a lighthouse oh we're going to rapture do I want to be going towards the lighthouse if I'm getting rid of a body why would I go to a location that I imagine people visit fairly often there's somebody in the window. So I'm getting paranoid. Is that? I'm guessing that's. How long have you been moving? How long have I not noticed? Shut up! You're supposed to be dead. Why is it wiggling? Oh, I can't run when I'm carrying the body, obviously. Oh, please do be quiet. Doesn't even sound like they're in pain. It sounds like they're taunting me. Why am I coming here? Okay, you've climbed down. Okay, lay the body on the table. Why? Where is this going? Could you, could you stop? I mean, it doesn't look like you're getting out of there anytime soon. I can't go up any further. What am I doing here then? Can I leave? No. I suppose I've got to do something with that body. Okay. 
I I don't know what's happening now. Can I push things? Can I move them? Gotta be something I can do. Won't we do anything with that? Can I do anything with this? Shows how observant I am. I'm guessing this is for the door on the side. Okay. What's this key for then? Grab the body. Why do I need the body and the key? What am I do what am I doing? Oh, of course we're going down to the basement. Twelfth September nineteen ninety seven, it was all my fault. Eleventh of January, nineteen ninety-eight. I accepted this job at the lighthouse. I can stay alone here. I miss them. Okay. I I'm just going to read this. All right. Twentieth of March, nineteen ninety-eight. Edward told me about this doctor. Her name is Christine Willard. I will try to call her. I'm guessing this is Christine. Twenty third March nineteen ninety eight. The doctor said she can bring them back. I'm puzzled, but I have no choice. Oh no. Have I brought somebody back from the dead and I'm feeding them? 30th of June 1998, she did it. I don't know how, but they are but they are alive. Eleventh July nineteen ninety eight, there is something wrong with them. Yeah no shit. What the fuck is this? Twelfth July two thousand five. I can't do this anymore. I won't feed them again. But this is. But there is one last thing I need to do. So whatever these things are, I am feeding them. Can I put this body down? What's this last thing I need to do? Oh, is that, are they supposed to be my wife and child? Oh, there's a hook here. Do I hang you on there? Or maybe on one of the, on this one. It is Christine. I I called it. It was Christine. Okay. 
Okay, now what? Grab the rope. I'm gonna hang myself now, aren't I? I've committed an atrocity and I don't know how to deal with it. So now there's only one way out. Yeah. End it. I'm sorry. Jesus. There it is. A gay but by Costantiano de Bellis. I'm so sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of your name. I really like that. It was simple. It gave you enough information to piece everything together and didn't explain too much. You know, there's a few whys and hows, but at the same time, they're not important because you've, you've got the gist of what's going on. That was brilliant. I loved that one. Great job. All right, let's move on to the last game. Set difficulty, adventure. For those who want to know the story, standard balance level of puzzles and action elements, beast for those who want a bigger challenge. We'll go with the standard. Chapter one, the beginning. Chapter one. I guess in this first chapter will just will be the entirety of the demo. Looks like we got a, a a standard setup for a horror game. Abandoned house, middle of the woods. It's a tri tried and true uh, method. Do love me an abandoned haunted house game. You haven't crashed, have you? No, nope, there we go. Where where am I? God. Why? Adam! Adam! Adam, what are you doing? Why are you stalking us? Is this about Adam's work? What do you want from us? Why are you tormenting my family? I'm guessing that's no! Adam. Adam! Oh, no. No, what have you done to Adam? Oh, God. Took a little off the top, I think. War calls for casualties. No. There is no war. We're just... We're just a regular family. You hear me? We just wanted to live our life. And you ruined everything. Pictures, bugs, threats. And now you're here. Stay away! Don't! They already know about you. They've been watching the house. They won't let you. Hush. No! What are you doing? What are you doing? I think that's... I think that's pretty obvious, love. That's quite a heavy introduction. One week earlier. The sweep of the past. President Carter had commented on the Russian threat that we could use. President Carter. Is this shit uh, set during the Cold War? <laughs> I think I might be right. What's the present Carter in the cold for the cold war though? It will be challenging, true. But it was you who kept saying you'd like to get away from the city. Feel the call of the wild. The weekend, honey. Not for the rest of our lives. <laughs> who says it's for the rest of our lives? Really, Emma? We don't know the day or the hour. Very funny. Like we don't hear enough about nuclear threats in the media. That's what I'm talking about. If I don't break the code, this country would be like a basket full of nuclear mushrooms. Adam, stop it. But then again, this shack will fall down on us before Brezhnev's boys launch their first missiles. It's no shack. It's a present from your parents and you should appreciate it. Take a look! Oh, it looks even better than the photos. 
It's a nice looking house, I'll grant you. Well, our stuff made it here before us. Those lazy movers didn't even bother waiting for us. That's okay. We can bring it all in ourselves. Yeah, meaning I toil away when you get orders from the shower. A not so happy couple. Three hour drive and we're finally here. The place seems peaceful and quiet. Maybe it'll help me to focus on those damn telegrams to decipher. Honey, don't just stand there. Those boxes won't carry themselves in. You, you are quite capable of carrying some boxes. Until Emma showed up. Where'd you go? It's a very pretty game. I've seen a couple of other YouTubers play this. So I've got some idea of what it's about. Locked. Samara, are you down there? Sadako? No. We should probably go into the house. Voice recorder. Press tab to check voice recorder. Adam uses the voice recorder to record conversations and his thoughts on the current events. Alright. Alright, gotta enough. get those boxes inside. I should put the box on a table upstairs. Oh, okay. It's one of those. Table upstairs. That one? The box is where it should be. Time to paint the walls. I think there's some paint in the attic. I'm pretty sure there's some more boxes somewhere. Binston filter cigarettes. Those are very bad for you. Locked. Oh, note. Simon Sons. I paid those bastards in advance, so of course they didn't even bother to take those boxes to the attic. You can't trust anyone these days. Simon Sons Moving Services. Moving date 22nd of August 1979. Customer name and contact Adam Stevenson. Boston MA Treasure Charge $670. General overview of work transportation of 8 to 10 boxes, furniture, some equipment to home improvement renovations, 170 miles in, in one way. Huh. Never pay in advance. This one looks unhappy. Don't worry, little buddy. You've got wings, so you can always fly away to a nicer place, unlike me. He's really not happy in this marriage, or maybe this this move. Something is definitely up. Whole hook for lowering the attic stairs. I'm guessing the missus is in there having a shower already and not helping with. Okay. Oh god, there's a lot of uh, interaction with this one. You've got to be kidding. 
kidding me? Fuck. Tom, the baby hears everything, even in the womb. So we will make a great agent, just like Dad. Honey, I can't get in the goddamn attic without a key. Check the dining room. It should be in a drawer. All right. So we've got quite a few fetch quests to go on. Which one's the dining room? Oh, your parents were heavy smokers. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a few of these to deal with the missus. As if there was one drawer. <laughs> well, left mouse button to push and pull. Okay. Nope, nothing in here. I can't find it in the dining room. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I didn't get it from the trunk. Oh, <sighs> typical. Right, something went off. All right. Who was this? A thinking woman's guide to pregnancy. I should read this too so that I can be understanding of Emma and her quirks. Amanda Kruger, it's not a nightmare, even if it looks like one, a thinking woman's guide to pregnancy. Bestseller of 1978, 500,000 copies sold, the American Bible of Pregnancy, loved by future mothers and fathers alike. Fair enough. I want to check everything. Locked. Not you. Locked. Mum spent her childhood here, but she never talked about it much. I'm glad she thinks this is where Emma and I should settle down. I can't imagine raising a kid in Boston these days. Adam, our dearest son. This house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even called it the Stevenson's Refuge. Excuse me. But when we, but when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa, Grandpa's just going to sell it, as he said he would. Well, he didn't, surprisingly. He left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here, raise your kids, and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't imagine... I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma... We'll visit you sometime next month in my if my aching hip allows that. Well, P.S. Dad thinks he should be the one to come up with a name for your son or daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, act surprised when he mentions it to you. That's weird. Why would anyone think they'd have the right to name their children's children? Right, that's just some kind of ledger. Candles and bowls. Obviously, it's obvious to have those. Hang on! There was something in there and it disappeared. See, you were in there. I'm pretty sure it was you. Damn it, I need to go back to the car. Emma didn't even take the key from the trunk. Yeah, I, I know, mate. Oh, God. The mouse is really sensitive. What's this? It looks like it might be vaguely important, but we're not going to read it or anything. All right, fair enough. Thank God I can work remotely now, so I don't have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. All right. All right, let's go to the car. In the trunk, was it? 
Uh, keys. Oh, maybe not keys, just do the thing. Right, nothing important in there. What's this? Rosy Red's detergent. Might be important. No, no it's obviously the exact box I need to check, but I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Oh look, the key! The key for the door to the attic. Pick. Press tab to open your inventory. Okay. Let's head back upstairs. Find the paint in the attic. What's this? Dancing couple figurines. Rotate to find a hidden message. I wonder. What? someone else what all right that's just that just confused me hello are you supposed to be some kind of cherub an angel looks like he's sleeping but he might as well be dead poor guy life has been rough on him how long has he laid here? Probably like a century. Rotate to find a hidden message. Someone must have hit him really hard to make his legs fall off. Wait, is that blood or paint? Ah, I don't want to touch you anymore. Okay, so there's apparently paint in here somewhere. Locked. Ah, there's paint. Don't want to grab it just yet. I want to do some exploring. Box full of cash. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Very gentle with the uh, the old windows, are you? There's some air in. I'm imagining this attic is probably a bit musty. Stay open. What am I stuck on? Can I go up here? Ooh, crowbar. That could come in handy. Yes, let's take that. Oh, I can crouch. An axe in a trunk. Yeah, that's uh, not suspicious. Books, deco. Locked. Okay, not sure what that's about. Never mind. Paint. Damn it. Hmm, what's that? 
A loose plank. Someone's hidden something under the floor. Oh god. Oh Jesus. What could it be? A treasure? Hope it's not great grandpa's porn mags. Yeah. Okay. An expert, an excerpt from Julius Caesar's commentaries on the Gallic War. I remember this from my Latin classes. Some letters look different than others. Rotate to reveal a hidden message. J equals C, Julius Caesar's initials. <laughs> I'd have to be a goddamn code breaker to... Wait, isn't that what I do for a living? Julius Caesar's initials, but why did someone write that they were equal? J equals C. I have to break the cipher to open the box. Right, so we want M. Which is F. H which is A P I and then A T uh, is it going to be faith and then O H that took me far too long. I used to be so good at puzzles. What the hell happened? Faith. Hey! I'm actually embarrassed how long it took me to figure that out. Okay, we've got another key. An antique key, but what could you unlock with it? And what we've got here? Book. Property of Nicholas. Who's Nicholas? It is September 27th in the year of our Lord 1864. Evening, almost night. Almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought. Makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. Who is that? Every time I see somebody wearing a coat like that, I assume villain. You know, uh, Jeepers Creepers, the chief from the village in Resident Evil 4, Mendez. It is September 27th, in the year of our Lord, 1864. Evening, almost night. Never before have I kept a diary, but they say that it might be a chance for me to reclaim the memories I have lost. Besides, writing entails a clarity of thought, makes it easier to distinguish facts from imagination. I'm home again after ten years. Press X like I'm relieved to find the house unscathed. That's good. It's the only roof I have over my head for now. I should light some candles and take a look around. No trace of my father. Did I honestly think he would welcome me at the door? He vanished a decade ago without so much as leaving a letter. The house feels strange, even though it has not changed one bit. There are fears creeping out of the darkness whose source I cannot define but memories will come back that's what they told me what's the noise then I will realize what happened to my father and what happened to me I keep thinking it's crashed first time to read the diary Nicholas writes down his thoughts as well as all important information All right, I've got limited matches. This is 
one of my mum's favourites. She got it from a friend of the family. My father didn't like it. Thought it meant something in a bad way. Rotate to find a hidden message. It was a gift from, from my father's partner, George. As far as I remember, Fate played a cool trick on him back when I was a kid. It still gives me the creeps. Okay then. What about you? Father would sometimes leave it in the front of the in front of the bedroom. That meant he didn't want to be disturbed. Was it? I must have upset my father because one day he tossed a figurine at me and it hit me in the head. I can see it's st st I can see it suffered more damage than I did though. Okay. So your father was an ass. More matches, excellent. And there's something over here, what's this? up something. Ooh, yes. It's dark in here. I'll light the candles. I've got a lantern. My father and his partner a few days after opening their pyrite mine. Hold left mouse button, then pull to push the mouse to move heavy objects. bought this land for practically nothing. His friend, Judge, his friend, Judge Norton, signed the contract and the deal was made. That's how they did That's how they did it right then. Rotate to find a hidden message. It is hereby certified that the pursuant of the provisions of the Act of Congress approved January 13, 1838, entitled an act to secure the land pre-emption to actual settlers on the public domain, Jacob Hyde made full payment Made payment in for four hundred dollars for three hundred twenty acres at one dollar twenty-five per acre. Jesus. Now, therefore, now, therefore, be it known. Now, therefore, be it known that any presentation of this certificate to the Commissioner of the General Land Office that said Jacob Hyde should be entitled to a patent for the tract of the land above described. Right. It says there's a hidden message somewhere. And they weren't kidding. My father knew what was hidden underneath. He just needed someone with the resources to open a mine. That's when he met George. Then he built the inn, and, f and for a time he was actually rolling in it. Good old days, but I'm afraid it's not coming back. Upstairs. Be. It could wait, whatever it is. Matches. Locked. Open. opening because something's blocking you? I think so. Oh, that's the issue. Hello? 
at you. I still don't know why my father started to collect, started to collect them. Well, you know, some people have weird hobbies. Maybe your father just liked creepy little porcelain dolls. Damn, we figures. I, I thought the window was bolted shut. Looks like it was. What are you doing here? This is private property. Who the devil is he? <sighs> Goddamn crow and creepy ass man in top hat and murderous coat. All locked. Jacob and whatever. Me and my father in front of his inn. I was seven at the time. Rotate to find a hidden message. What does it actually say? Jacob and Nicholas, May 12th, 1843. Okay. I'll wait for it to finish deciphering. There we go. He reproached me for making faces and not standing straight, although he was the one who couldn't stand still, as you can tell. He gave me a good thrashing then, even though I didn't deserve it. Well, your father wasn't... Yep, yeah, he was not a nice man. Oh, there is the attic still there. Okay, fair enough. Anything in here that's noteworthy? No, I guess I need to go outside and follow creepy man into creepy dark woods because that's the sensible thing to do. Where the hell did he go? He went up there. Hey! You still here? I'd better take a look. Diary has been updated. He pointed at the shed. Maybe I can find something in there. Thank God it was just the wind that blew the window open. But there's some disturbing guy by the well in front of the house. Apparently he wants something from me. He's pointing his fingers at something. He would want... Who would wander around these backwoods at this late at night? I hope he's not dangerous. Just what I need right now. I'll go down just ask him where he came from. There's no one in front of the house. The guy vanished into thin air. He didn't. We saw him walk in that direction. I'd better look around the house. He might be still hiding somewhere. I think he pointed out the shed. Maybe I can find something there. Alright. Alright, can't move that one. Anything around here before I go into the shed? Oh, bolt oh, cutters. Yeah, they might be useful. Oh, right, I can. Ugh. There we go. Oh, Jesus. I both really like and dislike the uh, movement controls at the same time. as some kind of clue for me? I should look into it. 
No, maybe you should go and call the authorities or something. Look, can I take this? Can I use it as a weapon? Because that guy's clearly fucking nuts. This. Was that there before? I don't remember. Newspaper clipping. Rotate to find a hidden message. <sighs> a terrible crime has shocked a peaceful local community. The deputy sheriff called to the inn confirmed. Called the inn. Called to the inn. <laughs> the deputy sheriff called to the inn confirmed the man's death. John Norton had been considered missing the last few weeks. The assailant was was exceptionally brutal. The victim's throat was slashed and many other cuts and burns all over his body suggest prolonged torture. A gruesome murder? Here? John Norton. Sounds familiar. I don't feel like looking for that vagabond in the dead of night. I'd better go home. I don't think this is going to end well for you, mister. What's this over here? Doesn't look like I can enter there. All right, this is only the demo after all, so. No. Why? Oh God, this is like the strangers. What? You let yourself in? Hey, are you deaf? I'm talking to you. <laughs> if I tell anyone about this, I'll end up in an asylum. I'm gonna end up in the hospital if this shit keeps up. I don't know if the fucking cat was out. Bastard. Get to the basement. Oh, don't you start that paranormal activity shit with me. Kerosene. Oh, that's how I use the kerosene. Brave. Oh god, the music is so good, but it's it's hitting every nerve. I wanted to play the demo before I before I paid for the full version, but I think I'm definitely going to pay for it because I'm loving this and hating it at the same time. What's this? What are you for? My father never could express emotions, but when he felt unhappy, he used to clutch this little angel in his hand. Okay, cool. <sighs> We're out of matches. I have more matches. I've run out of matches. anything for me. Oh God, could you stop with the noises? Oh! 
Oh, what is with that painting? Where did all this blood come from? Dear <sighs> God. I heard a voice. happened here. Diary's been updated. No shit. He's gone for good or was he never even here? In the, in the hallway, there's a lot of blood in the hallway. I can hear knocking. I'm shaking all over. Yeah, same. Someone's banging at the cellar door and won't stop. Is that him waiting there for me? I'm afraid to pull the handle but the uncertainty scares me even more. What? So did you kill your father or something in this you you've got like disassociated memories or something but how does this all relate to the people in the future Oh hi horse oh, more matches thank you Okay, that's not something I can read. Nothing of important of importance apparently. More fuel. What are you? Anything important? No. What about you? My father's in first my father's in's first advertisement. He said to me, We did it boy. We did it boy. Hillside Inn is now open. 40 comfortable rooms, a cosy refuge at the heart of the mountain village, delicious meals near the famous Caroline Pirate Mine. Don't delay. Visit today. <sighs> Don't fucking like this. Could you, could you perhaps not? And I'll, I will be your bestest friend for Everest if you just fucking not. Of course, it's locked. Why would it? Why would it not be locked? Is that face of painting? I strongly suspect and hope it's a painting. It is a painting. That's good. Because in horror films, there's no such thing as haunted paintings that do random weird shit. Or horror games, I should say. The fuck Maybe is there's that? another way. Why? Would you need a door like that in a basement? Have I lost my... No, but I've got a pair of shears now with rusty blades. Despite the passage of time, they might, they might come in handy. Yeah, because there's a psycho in the house. Uh, kerosene, let's... There we go. Much better. As long as I've got my light, I am safe. I am invincible. Damn it, I can't open it. Maybe there's something in my briefcase that would help get it open. I have to get in there. Whatever happened, 
I hope it's not my father's blood. <laughs> Am I delusional? Cunt. No, 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 fuck that noise. Looks like roots? I need to get rid of them before I leave the basement. How are you this calm? What is wrong with you? Oh, I've already got the shears, that's fine. Thank you for clearing the way. You all right? Oh, he's taking my briefcases. Of course you're gone. Why wouldn't you be? Has someone gone through my briefcase? No idea why I took took. I have no idea why I took it to to the place where I spent the last decade. I can't even remember which lock it fits. Oh, good! Everyone's losing their marbles. Don't. Oh god, this is some Michael Myers shit. Who and what are you, bastard? <laughs> Thank you for playing the demo version of the piece of I'm definitely going to buy that and I'm definitely going to play through it because that was awesome. All three of these games were awesome. The Beast Inside you can get from Steam and I'll leave links to The House in the Woods and um, oh god what was the other one called? I can't remember. This was awesome. I think I might make this a few good scare series an ongoing theme because I love horror games and you know sometimes when there's just nothing else for me to play places like Game Jolt and Itch.io they've got a whole range of uh, indie games to play but I hope you enjoyed this first episode of this series if you liked it let me know in the comments like subscribe ding that bell I've been Simulator this has been a few good scares and I'll catch you next time take care now